Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. I um, I have played a little bit on my off time and I might do this from time to time. Um, if there is like a lot of, um, you know, complete this uh, X dungeon with, you know, XYZ class, then I may as well do that in my off time a little bit. And also I just wanted to play the game, you know? Um, and uh, hello, Mr. Garbage Truck. You, you've made your presence known. Thank you for that. Um, so we have a bit of money and we have to spend some, so I may as well buy uh, something new, a new class. Um, I don't know. Oh, we can, we can get the Berserker here. Um, the, that icon does not f does not follow the building very nicely. That's funny. I kind of want to get the Monk. I seem to recall liking the Monk a lot. The Rogue is obviously enticing. They're all good. Oh, and then there's something over here. Oh, right, the Sorcerer. Um, let's get the Monk. I, I, I feel... Like the monk is gonna be fun. Enemy unlocked serpent. Noble kingdom and administrator. The local parish church upgrade has been uh, completed, though several of the holy site's original standing stones had to be removed to make way for a gift shop. In completely unrelated news, a horde of gigantic serpents has emerged from the new cathedral for some reason or another. Uh, they're infiltrating local dungeons and poisoning unlucky adventures. What a weird coincidence. Salutations, most forward-thinking kingdom administrator. The necessary paperwork for a local forge has been most vigorously completed by the sort of people who care about these things. But if you have a blacksmith in your kingdom, you may upgrade it for now. Uh, I do, and I, I will. Nice. I like how the building actually looks better. It actually looks upgraded. We have a blacksmith. We could actually upgrade it. Um... So right now our preparations only include a sword, a shield, and a slayer wand, which I uh, have deemed to be worthless as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. And now we have available to us a bear mace and a perseverance badge, which I think gives us more XP. Um, I am going to do a puzzle challenge, although I seem to recall I can't do Agbar's Academy because I, I think that this is bugged show you a few additional benefits of, uh, let's try it one more time i'll try it and, and see if i can um do it uh do this puzzle because i i do think that it was bugged when i last tried it um but if it's not bugged then that's a good thing obviously so um we need well we, we got these this goblin and zombie and i believe we need to kill them in order to get some uh extra potions and the zombie lad he probably needs some fire some fire uh let's just have a look okay yeah um hmm well he, he's gonna kill me dead my damage is 10 so actually uh, one weight what will allow me to kill them yeah and then get get the the potion uh, and then we can kill the goblin. So now the question is, um, can I... Do, do the djinns, uh, retaliate fireball get negated when I slow them? Still no. Still no. That's a bug. Th that is 100% broken and it shouldn't work that way. It's broken. It, it is broken. Cause it, um, where is that sign? Isn't there a sign somewhere that tells me, uh, something about this? I thought there was a sign here. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they updated this or something. I thought that slowed. Maybe if I look at here. Adding slow to slow debuff. No blink retreat or retaliation strike seconds. Yeah, no, re no retaliation. Why, uh, why is retaliate still thing? So that, that's, that's broken still. Um... Oh, I just exited the entire game. Very good. And there's my uh, my cool uh, VTube. Because I forgot to shut that down after the stream. Well, you know, they'll, they'll fix it. I have to imagine that that's broken. There's no way that they're, gonna, they're telling me that slowed um, negates or debuffs retaliation. But it doesn't actually. I don't believe that that is the case. Anyway. Alright, we're going to go on an adventure. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Den of Dangers. So I did two playthroughs of Den of Dangers, um, and once as a thief and one once as a, um, well, sorry, once as a fighter and once as a wizard. 
And so we only have to do one left. We have to do a uh, priest, I think. I do want to play the monk. We should just do the monk, shouldn't we? Let's have a look at the monk. Hand to hand, negative two base damage per level, negative 20% attack bonus, diamond body, 50% to starting physical resistance, higher resistance cap, discipline, health regeneration rate is doubled. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that is that is really interesting, actually. So that, that means that um, revealing the map while you're fighting something is even more viable. Uh, and then we have a gnome, which I have not uh, tried yet. I'm not a huge fan of the gnome mechanic. I like gnomes aesthetically, but uh, I'm not sure what our next, like, let me see here. Human settlement. We're, uh, adventure. Not sure what our actual next mission is. Um, is there a way to find out? Random. Well, we you know, den of dangers. There's big beginner brigade. So yeah, we have to do priest. Um, jungle beat. What is this? Requirements. Get it done with fighter or berserker. Oh, I see. So there's different requirements depend depending on where we go um get it done with you need to manage unstoppable interesting is there one for monk i wonder yes so we could do deep freeze with the monk let's do that and then i'll i'll do uh i'll do priest on den and dangers next time and that way we get to try the monk um i don't think that gnome and monk is going to be a good combination but i do want to try the monk Preparation select an item to see more information. Oh, so we do we get to pick one of our gods Guarantee mr. Uh, mr.'s altar will spawn but slows her piety Gain by 25% guarantee Tarog's altar will spawn but makes all enemies cowardly Hmm, I don't think I want any of these for now. What is this? Um, a handy self-defense tool, which also happens to smack other things around. 25% knockback damage. I don't think that's actually very helpful. Plus 10% bonus damage. Yeah, that sounds okay. How is it different from plus 2 damage? I guess this is better. Um, because this actually scales with us. So that's going to... Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm missing f f uh, 4 gold. I can't even afford the bear maze. Okay, I guess we're going in, uh, we're going in raw, you know? Okay, so this is, this is the gnome monk, and they look really good. I, I really appreciate their look right now. So let's see, uh, what we can do here. Um, we should be able to, well, if we reveal any of the map, then this guy is going to recover what little damage we're doing. We're only doing two damage? Yo, that is not enough. <laughs> that is brutal. All right, well, we're going to have to fight some level one things. Even level one things we're going to be struggling against. So I'm, I'm revealing some map. Is that... That's not recovering them. That's good. The problem is, is that if, unless I'm, re I'm revealing exactly corners, then uh, I don't like I, if I rec if I reveal this wall, it's going to do three at once and that'll fully recover whatever it is. I'm trying to fight Ooh, a vampire vampire. Um, no, uh, goblins are definitely going to be a problem for me. I don't think I have enough things to reveal to fight the goblin. Oh god, the meat. The meat man is also kind of a problem. Uh, yeah, this is this is a nightmare situation. I'm gonna... Ooh, we have a sub-dungeon. Let's have, check that out. Ooh, halfling. Oi there, our brave, strong, intelligent hero. I was wounded and crawled into this cave for safety, but now I find myself trapped and cannot escape with such a grave injury. If you could spare but a single health potion in all your uh, grandness and generosity, you'll have my eternal gratitude. Eternally give potion. Cool. Well, we, um, we're going to be struggling already, so this should just, you know, 
just make things even more spicy. Oh, hey, a, a spell. Definitely that'll help. That'll help a lot. I'm trying to make, um, I'm not just like arbitrarily exploring. I, do, I That's not a good idea right now. I'm trying to make some corners like these. Oh, that, that would actually help a lot. That would help a lot too. Oh, level one vampire. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make some corners so that I can safely explore without, um, like, recovering a monster too much. I kind of want to try and fight this meat man. Uh, I think I have enough of the map revealed now that I should be able to take them on. Assuming I can... I only have to reveal one every time I fight them. Oh, this is... Uh, a huge pain in the butt. What what is, is Meat Man special in any way? Won't let me find out. Hmm. Oh, we can also shove them a couple times. Let's shove them a couple times, and that's actually gonna hurt whatever's behind them as well. Um, is that not doing any damage? It didn't seem to do any damage the first time. All right, we're gonna punch him a couple times. Punch, punch, punch. Reveal. Ooh, we have a, a turn of stone one. Um, now I can punch him once, once more. Punch. Reveal. Punch. Reveal. Punch. I don't know if this is working. Punch. Reveal. Is this? Uh, did I actually? Oh, and I, I have to make sure I'm also doing. Um, more spells because that'll help reveal um punch and piss off oh we don't want to do it diagonally if we do it diagonal diagonally it'll ruin the whole thing so he's down to like half health uh this is this is bad punch so he has five punches left now he has six punches left. I mean, we are gaining ground here, but it's it's a it's a slog. And actually, I'm running out of tiles to reveal. Why is that not doing damage to him? If target hits a wall or 50% if another uh, another enemy why is that not doing damage to him sometimes it should do at least one damage to him right maybe it is doing one damage to him and I just can't see that okay reveal that um, and then we punch him and then we reveal that and we punch him this is this is this is quite the thing you know um, so what I want now is I only want to reveal two tiles if I possibly can, because that's going to set me back a little bit, but that means we can punch him twice and we can also punch him some more. Okay. So yeah, that's not doing any damage to him sometimes because it, sh it would show me if he was taking any damage. I'm really not understanding that one. Okay, so we've got two more punches left. Well, in theory, we probably have more. Yeah, so now it's, it's three. Okay, we've got two punches left. We've got three punches left. This is just because I'm trying to, uh, no pun intended, punch upwards. Um, you really want to, at least at some point, fight something higher level than yourself. He's got two punches left. Um, can we do anything with this? Nope. And I don't have any more cor- Oh, I do have one more corner. Nice. Punch. Can we- No, we can't. One more corner. Oh, finally. Oh my god, that was absolutely awful. Okay, we got I'm a wall. I'm a wall is great. I love I'm a wall. We're level two now. We can find some uh, a level one. Oh, there's a level one right there. We could turn. Well, the problem is that they're in a corner, but there's another level one there. So why don't we kill this lad? 
and then we'll uh they're also in a corner like the problem here is that if i kill them there might not be any other way to get over here because they're gonna block that i could punch them all right that's better now we can um i'm a wall them the problem there the only problem there is that it, like it's only going to matter if we're, again, um, attacking something higher level than us. So we could try and do this other meat man. But as we've just seen, that is not great. Um, let me think. Okay, why don't... I'm going to punch this goblin diagonally. So... Oh, is there something over there? Hmm... Apparently there's something over there. All right, well, let's just kill this goblin. We can actually do something there. So what's over here? Okay, so how come I didn't see that vampire? That's that's kind of bizarre. They have life steal. Um, so let's try and make some more um, more corners. Like that. There's a corner. Um, there's a couple of corners. I'm wondering, is this what I think it is? Adding five maximum health and boosting regeneration while lowering damage. No, we can't take that. That's dumb. That is very silly. Okay. Um, I do want to kill this level three meat man. He only takes nine attacks. And we, uh, like, in theory, we can do damage with uh, Pissorf. Yeah, the Pissorf does one damage now. I don't know why it's only doing one damage. In theory, it should be doing 50%. What if I punched him into the wall, actually? It still only does one. Oh, wait, it's doing three damage. My bad. So that's doing two damage. Um, okay, so let's turn this meat man over here into stone. And start working uh, our magic on this meat man here. So we're going to punch him into that wall. Um, and we'll punch him a few times. And I actually created another diagonal wall. This is going to be a very time-consuming adventure. Punch. Um, reveal. Punch. This one's actually not as bad as the last one. The only problem is... I'm, okay, we, we still have some more diagonals left. This is good. Reveal that. Punch. Reveal that. Punch. And let's... Um, Hit him into the wall. I bet you there is a better way for me to do that. This is the kind of game it is. He's like, you got to learn, even from your success, you got to figure out, like, is there a, is there a better way I could have done that, actually? Um, punch. As long as I can just um, find... Okay, there's one right there. Perfect. I think I've got him now. Oh, just barely not. So now the problem is that I could punch him. Oh, okay. There's, there's one more diagonal there. All right. Hit him. Nice. And we are level three. Fantastic. We want to find some uh, level uh, ones that we can convert into extra XP. Um, can I take this slightly blue? This is offers bonus of two maximum mana. I don't think I want that. I really don't think that that's actually very beneficial to us. Um, we can kill this meat man without doing anything. We, let's just, um, like, kill one guy without having to reveal, like, half the map. Because I'm a little bit wary of the fact that we are blowing through quite a lot of our map. Like, yeah, look, that's, like, almost half the map revealed. Um, and, and we're not even halfway through this. So let's just kill some stuff. Do we have a level four zombie? How was zombie... How is the zombie gonna... Oh, yeah, the zombie's okay. They've got a lot of health, and they do a lot of damage, but... I don't know. Um, we could just kill a couple vampires. Where are we at? We're at 4 of 15. There is a level 4 meat man. I gotta stop attacking meat man. I think that they're actually, like, our nemesis. Um... Why don't we kill the zombie? Now, if only I could find a level one monster oh you know what this dungeoneering toolbox 
fine sword there we go that's gonna help quite a lot that actually almost doubled our 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 damage it, it didn't but you know like it it, it kind of did <laughs> a little bit a little bit um all right let's turn this vampire into stone this is only gonna offer like if i fight this zombie uh we're gonna get oh yeah we'll get 10 xp from that so it is actually worth doing that okay so let's let's hit this guy or we'll we'll hit him with one piss orphan and we'll just kind of start working on them a little bit and we're gonna go we have to find some something to reveal that's the worst over there that would reveal the most map we have to like reveal as little map as possible oh that, they're still gonna kill me actually so the only problem with the zombie is i have to reveal probably two actually you know what that's not a problem when i think about it that's actually the, the opposite of a problem. The fact that we have to reveal more map to in order to um, recover from the zombies hit is actually kind of a good thing. So let's uh, that means we can reveal these two tiles, for instance, without feeling bad. And now we can kill them. And that was 10 XP. Nice. Uh, that wasn't actually that bad. Why don't we do that again? And hey, look, there's a, no there's a level one over here. So we can turn them into stone. And there's even a, um, a monster to prop them up so we can use piss orf to uh, To do some damage and we'll just uh, do the same thing again work them Work them over a little bit and then reveal some map hit them again. And now um, we can reveal these two tiles here Ah, oh, That was Okay, one more tile should do it. Yes. And there we go, and we're level we're level four. We're we're, we're yeah, I mean it's, it's the I guess the monk is slow, but um not not awful. Uh, there's a level one over there. I would really like to turn a stone. Ah, there's another level one. Oh wow, a treasure trove, a treasure trove of of monsters over here. So let's turn this guy into stone. So we're level four. We're hoping to find a level five unit. Um, the vampire is actually not a terrible candidate. They do some nasty damage, and they also have lifesteal is the only problem. So, it's not ideal. I won't lie. We have another meat man. Um, let's just try hitting the vampire and see what happens. Um... Like I say, they have life steal. I'm just trying to figure out how this factors in. It looks like it doesn't, and we can kill them actually. Vampire seems like a, the best candidate for us so far. We didn't actually have to recover anything, and we are um, we're a gnome, so we benefit from converting in that we get more potions. But I don't think I'm ever gonna do that unless I find things I really like want to convert. We have a tower shield over here. I wouldn't mind grabbing that, but we don't have enough gold to do so. So, you know, these are things. I'm just thinking out loud, honestly. Um, so we have a goblin. Let's recover some of this map and then turn this level one into a sto into stone. Um, goblins still suck. They have pretty good damage and they've got... Oh, is this a... This is a god. We've got Mystera. What does Mysteria do for it? Can it offer you endless destructive power? Just don't let her realize she's doing it. <laughs> Mysteria will increase your overall magic capacity by one. This is, it has multiple use. She likes it when you cast spells. Well, um, gift any glyph conversion with 50% mana restoration. Reduce to 25% while not actively worshiping her. I'm not really, I'm never sure what this means. Mysterial gift any glyph conversion with 50% mana restoration. I guess that means that when you restore uh, or, or when you convert one of your glyphs into for, for conversion, you also get some mana back. I actually don't think that um, she would be terrible to worship, but I'm not sure. The only thing I'm, not, I'm a little bit worried about is I'm not sure what ticks her off. And that's a bit of a concern. Um, so for times when followers absolutely have to defend themselves, Mysteria rewards loyalty with power. Increase fireball damage by one character level, but reduces attack bonus. No, we can't take that. 
Mister will lower the magic resistance of your foes by 10%. The problem is that I only have one spell that does damage and it doesn't do magic damage. So I honestly think just getting more magic would be a good idea. We'll gain more um, stacks with her once we cast some spells. So we're at level five, four still. So we still want to kill things at level five. Maybe this goblin over here. I don't think that that would be an awful idea. And the only problem is that we do have to um, make sure we have more health than him when we attack him last because he has second or sorry, first strike. Um, let's reveal that. I do wish um, I could maybe use my piss orf on him. Uh, let's reveal these two over here. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, well, it kind of it kind of wasn't great actually Uh, we do have a corner over there. Okay, so let's hit him once And the thing is that revealing this corner isn't gonna be enough because he's got that first strike which really sucks Um, So let's we got to figure out a good um, I guess we'll only reveal two over here But he's also recovering which is just kind of a problem why don't we just try to use Pissorf on him? There we go. That worked. And I think we also gained some um, some favor with Mystera for killing him with magic. Okay, so things are going pretty well. Um, I'm a little bit worried. If I, I'm gonna see if I can if I punch this guy. Oh, it'll kill him. I was thinking like I would like to get over there. I should have done this differently, but it's fine. I'm gonna turn them into stone. That'll also give me give me some favor with uh, Mystera. We could fight this goblin. Oh uh, yeah, we actually have a good um, method here. So first of all, I think no, we don't quite. We could we could get a little bit of favor from Mystera by grabbing these orbs, and then I'd like to get some more magic. I thought this was multiple use. Oh, we we need one more. Okay, my bad. There you go. So, um, now we've got a bit more mana, uh, so we can, we can punch this goblin diagonally. I was thinking maybe it would be really cool if we could punch them into these other stones, but... Oh, we... Yeah, we can, actually. We could punch him le right, right, and then diagonal, and then left, left, left. Um, so let's, let's do that. Right. Right. And then, um, well, we don't have enough mana, so we can just start hitting him for now. And I'm pretty sure if I reveal this, it'll be enough to kill him. Nice. And we got some gold from that uh, statue. Things are going pretty well. There's a ga uh, um, um, zombie over there. I'm going to use the, the stone spell uh on this meat man here for the extra xp that'll also give me some give me some extra favor with mystera uh we do need some to do a bit of recovery it does um you know i, I do remember it's good to maybe set up a level up uh like for instance i could uh kill uh not kill but like wear down this meat man so oh wait but that's going to use our experience boost that's the one problem with that experience boost isn't it um well it's fine it's, it's really not fine because <laughs> the thing is, is that i'm only if i use the experience boost on this meat man i'm only gaining two xp whereas if i do it on this Zombie I'm gaining at least three plus whatever extra bonus for killing for for attacking upwards So it's it's kind of not okay Okay, I just wanted to like be able to punch them to the right a little bit Um, I actually think we have a good setup here if we punch them to the right and then start working working them down a bit Reveal a little bit of map. Punch him. Reveal some map. Reveal some map. And what I'd like to do is... 
punch them and I might I oh, just barely not enough. I was thinking that that would be enough to kill them, but nope. Okay, well, um, I think I can reveal these two and then kill them. Yes. Perfect. All right. So I, I think I'm doing pretty good right now. Um, we have another meat man. I, the meat men suck, but this one's not terrible. We can actually hit them five times before, before we have to recover. So that's not awful. It would be better if there was something I could punch them into. Uh, it's not, not great. I won't lie. Um, let's go ahead and turn this lad into stone. Level twos are viable for that now. And I'm just going to start. I'm just going to hit this guy. The, you know, kill them the old fashioned way. And reveal some map. Punch. Reveal some map. Punch. Reveal. Oh, we have a level one. That's great. Punch. Reveal some map. Punch. And we have one more. Oh, that's just barely not enough. Okay, uh, I see a way out of this. I'm going to punch them and then I'm going to piss off them and then piss off them and that'll kill them. Nice. Um, Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll, we'll need to recover from that one. So one more of those should level us up. But I don't see any sevens. We're going to have to find another seven. Uh, I am slowly running out of dungeon. Uh, we can't even survive one attack from this warlock, so that's kind of a problem. Um, I might just have to explore a little bit. Okay, there's a seven. There's a seven, and um, we could even like push them into this eight a little bit. I don't like how much of the map I just revealed there, but anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna turn this guy into stone I'm gonna push push this guy. I didn't mean to attack them I'll push him into this other guy um, We don't have ideal map to reveal right now, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna punch him Me the nice thing about the meat man is there's no gimmicks or surprises like you just they, they are exactly what they are and they make no apologies for that so we can just like, you know, punch him and, and not worry too much about like second strike or anything like that. Punch, kill. Nice. We leveled up. We're level seven now. And this level eight meat man is the perfect candidate for our next uh, for our next kill. Um, if we could find a level one to convert, that would be kind of good. I don't like that we can't find out what's back there. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was worried about. Um, all right. Well, that's fine. Let's just let's just punch them. We don't have to worry about the extra XP. And reveal, punch, reveal. Oh, there's a level. There's a there's a vampire. Level eight vampire. The va the vampires are actually pretty good for me. Don't mind me uh, deliberately mispronouncing vampire. Okay. Reveal. Um, I need more dungeon. That's fine. We'll just take two there. Oh, that's actually a great glyph for us. That's a great glyph for us. Uh, that actually made the difference between having to reveal more map. That will mean we don't have to reveal so much, nearly so much of the map. And in fact, I'm pretty sure every time we reveal a dungeon tile, we get like maybe two mana back. So we're at 27 right now. It's going to take more than that. But what is, this, what is this mystic balance? All glyph ability costs are either increased or decreased by two towards an average of five. That's awful. Mysteria kind of sucks. I won't lie. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, it's great if you rely on exactly one spell. <laughs> Um, can I use this on a, on some stone? No, I can't. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Oh, there's another sub dungeon. Let's check that out. What do we got here? There's an, this altar bears an inscription. The true follower is both loyal and valiant. Seek out and conquer the darkness. Return the tokens of power. Another fi a piece of writing lies below, carved more hastily by different hands. PS5 should be... Should probably be enough. Five tokens, eh? 
Interesting. So we've got maybe a different god here. But we need to find some tokens. I don't know if we need to find... Oh, okay. They just uh, spawned some vampires on the board. I don't think we're going to... Yeah, we're not going to get any experience from them. I wonder, though, if, if I was to kill this dark one here by stone... Um, if they would count towards bonus XP. I have a, I'm not going to do that, though, because I just noticed that they give you prayer beads. So I have to kill them normally. So we got these prayer beads. I am unfortunately going to have to make room for the others. Oh, we have a level one... Uh, dude here. Unfortunately, okay. So if I punch him, we know he, we know he's not gonna die, right? That's that's the good news, right? And we can do that again. And this in this way, we can make sure that we don't uh, block our only way over here. So let's go ahead and turn them into stone now. And maybe we can start working on this vampire over here. Um. Yeah, we can, I think we can do this. And don't forget, we also have biceps, so this will help quite a bit. What's the hotkey for biceps? It's B. So let's go ahead and do that. Biceps, B, biceps, B. Um, and now we need to recover a little bit. Just a little bit, unfortunately. Okay, I think we can go over here. Oh, that was not what we want. That's okay. He actually didn't recover as much as I, I was worried about. Um, so now we need slightly more recovery. Kill. Nice. Okay, so um, I think we could just set up a normal kill. What I could probably do... I'm at level 7. Oh, there's, our, there's a level 7 token that we have to kill. This guy does 85 damage. That's our entire health bar. I still haven't found the boss, by the way. We have this level um, 9 goblin, and we can't take them on either. Uh, I'm just, like, weighing my options here. What I wouldn't mind doing is, like, trying to take on something higher than me and then killing something. Because I'm, I'm out of level 1s, I'm pretty sure. This goblin isn't a terrible candidate, but um, I don't know. I feel like we could do better. So I'm just going to, like, punch them a couple times. And then kill this meat man. Oh, I thought that meat man was going to level me up. But it, it did not, in fact, level me up. Uh, Alright, well, let's... We got to do it the old way, then. Um, punch, and I think we can kill them now. Oh, I wasn't using biceps. Oops. Okay, now we've leveled up. Good stuff. Um, so we're at level eight. Where is that vampire over there? Okay, we can we can do them now. There's a, our fourth prayer bead. We don't have enough room for it, unfortunately. So I, I, as as is typical fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and convert our um, scroll of extra life. Uh, I'm thinking we should. Uh, hmm. turn this vampire here into stone. I'm a little bit tempted to buy this tower shield, but we don't have enough room for it. How, um, we can take a couple hits from this level 9 goblin now, and we should be taking on level 9s if we can. So yeah, I'm going to turn this guy into stone. And, uh, don't forget to use biceps. We're going to punch this goblin couple times and then I'm gonna reveal some map same same business really the, the monk feels a little bit labor intensive I would understand if people uh, did not like the monk and uh, I don't know if I do either <laughs> uh, I don't know if I was misremembering someone else I don't know where I got my accent from or what I can do to get rid of it oh well oh well <laughs> recurrence count blah blah Freelance uh, uh, tracheotomy. 
um well, count blah blah is uh gonna be tough for sure um shoot we're okay well, i'm trying to make progress on this goblin here i think i could punch them twice into this wall Hmm. Yeah, I had to reveal some map, unfortunately. Uh, okay, we're good. Okay, we need to... You know, we're, we're getting there. I, I think if we are at level 9, that'll be enough. It generally is enough. We've got another level 9 over here. Oh, that's, uh, that's our last prayer bead. Well, that's good, actually. Why don't we do that? I might have to blaspheme against Myrta. Oh, we do have burn derays. <laughs> Um, tempting. The thing about burn to raise at this point, uh, is it worth it? Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of Pissorf. Pissorf has uh, served me well, but I definitely think burn to raise is better, especially if, especially if we're following um, Mystera. Uh, so let's go ahead and buff flames. It only buffs it once, so you can't you can't do it. Oh wait a minute! That decreased my attack bonus. Ah! Ah! Why did I do that? I don't have enough mana to justify that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's so stupid. Ah! <laughs> uh, I may have just thrown this entire game. I forgot that it did that. God, I hate trade-off takes uh, okay well we're stuck with it now so we um we could try it well i mean it does some decent damage at the very least it does decent damage i mean it should do decent damage it, it cost us everything <laughs> Um, we only get one mana from revealing a tile. Okay, I'm gonna punch, 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 and if I reveal these two, I should be able to kill them. Mm, nope. Still no. I think I've thrown this game. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try my best. Okay, we, we can kill them. Uh, I got the last prayer bead, so let's go and check out this new god. Ooh, glowing guardian. A voice comes out of nowhere. You bring me the token of a loyal and true follower. Perhaps you have what it takes to walk the narrow righteous path. Yep, righteous. And they should appear on the map now. But uh, does that mean we've blasphemed against Mystera? Convert. Desecrating this altar will anger its owner, but you'll earn bonus, bonus piety and your patron god will be more forgiving for your mistakes. I have to wonder, um, since we... Did we already anger Mystera by converting? We have diamond body. Oh, that's that's a monk thing. Okay, so humility. Those who know their place will ultimately find themselves in glory. The character's level number will be decreased by one, but will not lower health, base damage, or XP. Um, why would I want that? Absolution. Evil can be redeemed. One enemy equal level or lower is removed from the game, granting plus four maximum health. Doesn't affect undead opponents or creatures on different lo dungeon lo levels. Adds prayer beads bead to inventory. These uh, do what exactly? Plus one magic resistance. Oh, that's not bad, actually. True followers rely on spiritual sustenance instead of mundane mixtures. This boon will restore 35% of your maximum health and mana, but does not affect poison or mana burn. All adds prayer bead to inventory. This guy wants to fill my inventory with lots of things that I don't really necessarily want. We've got to um, want to fight here, by the way. And what's this last one? Those who stay in the light will become the light. This boon enchants the play, uh, prayer beads you've currently, you're currently carrying. Each bead will provide one extra health plus one 
bonus damage, another plus one magical resistance, one XP, and ten immediate conversion points. That's garbage. Why would like why would I care about ten conversion points? The player also receives a once off bonus of five maximum mana and a curse curse wipe. Hmm. So you want these prayer beads. Um you definitely want these prayer beads and then you want this. And uh let's see if we desecrate Mystera. You're not working for the greater good. Mystera offers protection to your foes. In what form? Oh, is it just magical resistance? Oh, it's physical resistance as well. Oh no. Well, let's see how that plays out. Um, we didn't get enough for enlightenment. I don't know also, I don't know what uh, he wants. Remove random enemy. Gain maximum HP. Receive a prayer bead. We'll probably want to do that, except it does uh, remove an enemy, which are, are kind of in precious. Well, this gives us some extra health as well. Um, hmm. This gives us magic resist. I, there's a lot of things going on here, and I don't really fully understand all of them. It seems to me like this guy is not a fan of potions also, which is a, really a problem since I'm a gnome. So that's like half my kin bonus completely gone. Um, oh, they have retaliate fireball. Life steal 30%. Uh, I, I think I have completely like shit the bed this time. Um, they're only going to take 12 fireballs. I know that's a lot. And it also, they also get retaliate fireball, by the way, every single time I do that. If I can get to level 9, maybe things will turn around. I kind of doubt it, but um, like I've, I'm almost out of dungeon to explore. So I don't really have any recovery. <laughs> this is awful. Um, wonder what happens if I convert a potion. Would that please my lord? It would please my lord. So why don't we do a couple of these mana potions here and then take this enlightenment. And at the very least, we have enlightened beads. Um... I'm, I could convert I'm a wall as well. But I kind of like I'm a wall. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... I set up this goblin here. Uh, oof, you know, honestly, the goblin is would be a pretty good wall. Let's go ahead and set them up. I'm going to set up this zombie to be a kill. Wait, did... Did they resist my spell? <laughs> they did, didn't they? Um, okay, let's let's just do plan A. I, I, I'm gonna fight this vampire. I'm gonna hit them a couple times, but actually I'm gonna hit the zombie a couple times first. So then I'm gonna hit this zombie twice. Um, I was thinking that the zombie was gonna level me up, but that was never true, was it? And also I, I'm not even using my biceps. I'm really not doing good i'm not making smart decisions right now okay why don't we um i could kill this meat man i'm like just grasping at every straw at this point we have this wanna fight. Why don't I just convert that now? It's not I don't think it's helpful to us at all. I I really don't think I see a way out of this. I'll kill the zombie. You know what? Why don't we may as well as long as we're stuck here. Why don't we do absolution a couple times? And that way we'll get a few more beads. Wait a minute. They don't turn into... Oh, okay. Wow, that's really dumb. I thought that... 
I thought that once I used this, it would mean that my prayer beads and all future prayer beads would be enchanted. Um, but that's not true. So these are just normal crappy prayer beads and they don't actually do anything for us. So if I wanted to do things properly, I would want to do absolution as many times as I can first. Before I do enlightenment. Living a pure life grants you a pure body. This boon will remove poison, mana burn, one level of corrosion, and one level of weakness from the character, and the next combat strike will deal magic damage. Adds prayer beat. Well, that would have been a good one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely think I, I threw this. To, to be fair, I was learning about three new mechanics at once. Um, wow, even if I kill this vampire, I won't level up. Okay, well, um, I can try my best to kill... Oh my god, it's going to take 27 strikes. It'll only take 12 straight uh, fireballs. I think I can get away with this? I don't know. This restores from 7 to 15, so it actually gives me a, a, at least a fireball's worth of mana. Um, so we're probably going to anger our god quite a bit right now because I'm about to, you know, go potion crazy. Um, why don't I grab this here? Removes mana burn. So, yeah, I'm just going to fireball the this guy as many times as I can. Is there a hotkey? One. Okay. Uh, of course, they also have retaliation. You're straying from the one true path of the glowing guardian, perhaps being relied of your relieved of your mundane possessions will clear your mind. Wow. Cool. Wow, that's really cool, bud. You just killed me. Nice. Well, that's that. What an absolutely stupid, worthless god. What an absolutely worthless god. Completely pointless. Can I rewind? This is the actual rewind mechanic. I This is the first time I've actually seen this. Well, how, how far does the rewind go? It goes to here? Uh, okay. <laughs> um... I don't have that negative to, to... Oh my goodness. Okay, this is quite a long time ago. Okay, I'm not gonna take that god. I'm not even gonna waste resources getting that god. And, um, I'm not sure if I want to take, like, I, I'm i cool with Mystera for now, but I don't think I want flames. This is, this is, I thought this was going to be a long desktop dungeons. Turns out it's going to be an extremely long desktop dungeons. Um, wow. Okay. So we're, we're, we're at level six right now. So I guess I want to fight this level seven over here. What what is this? I don't. I have no idea. Uh, that's okay. The rewind function in this game is very strange, because I, it didn't take me. I thought it was gonna take me back a little bit, but it took me back a lot. Um. All right. Let's convert this guy into. I may have actually wasted that. I wonder if I'd already had the bonus XP. Okay. Well, let's just um. Let's just fight Meat Man here. And actually, we can um, shove them into this guy as well. Grab this. Um, shove them into that guy. Punch him. Punch him. And then we kill him. Nice. We're leveled up. 
another meat man he's um he's not actually hurt at all i was hoping he would be we can start punching him as well i wouldn't mind trying to find another level one but i actually i feel i feel like that's hurting me like that's doing me more harm than good so let's just punch him May as well uh, punch him because then like we can reveal tiles anyway and then keep working him And this way we also do some extra damage and also get, break into this whatever Nice um, That worked out well actually that was actually better than last time. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch this guy into this statue. And I think what I'd like to do okay we have a level one here and I think I I remember doing something funky here last time. I punched him right and then right once more. And that way I was able to, to break into this. Um so now we can turn them into a wall. Uh, I need to kill something of higher level now. I would like to not, it would, I would like it not to be this goblin. I can't remember what was over here. I know there's some level, there's some low levels over here, and I think the boss is here. No, but, uh, I think they're right below this guy. Um, but we can kill this vampire. Good candidate, honestly. Why are we so low health? So there's the there's the boss. Let's convert this. Um we can knock this guy into the boss. Is he? Why? I don't understand. Oh, why is he at like maximum health? Sometimes I really don't understand this game. Like I, I just did three piss orfs into him. He should, he should be damaged. Like the boss is damaged. Why isn't this guy damaged? Okay. Punch. Uh, keep punching him. I I guess it's O for Pissorf. Let me. I mean, it does a little bit of damage, and also it gains me favor with Mystera, so that's pretty good. Dead. Nice. Nice chunk of XP. So we could do, we could turn this um, vampire here into stone. Um, I need another level eight dude though. And I am running out of dudes for the most part. Uh, I kind of want to buy this shield. Like since I know I'm not going to do much better. I know there's a fire spell somewhere and I'm not opposed to doing that again. But here's what I'm thinking. Um, I think what I'll do is when I start fighting the boss is I'm just going to hit them as much as I can like fisticuffs and then um once I'm like kind of spent I've used up my health but oh they have retaliate right that doesn't that's not going to work uh I hate that he has retaliate I don't understand why he has retaliate at all that means I have to use both health potions and mana potions if I want to do damage, like my, the most damage I can to him. I would like to be at least level 9 before I start fighting him. Um, okay. Oh, level 7 will not level me up. 
I guess unless I turn this guy into stone. So let's turn this guy into stone and then kill this goblin. Okay, so we're level 8. Um, we could fight this goblin over here. And, or this warlock. The warlock kind of sucks. Is there anything over here? We'll lower the magic resistance of your foes by 10% on the condition that you suffer the same penalty. No, that's awful. That's really awful. Um, are, we have like bad gods on this on this uh, dungeon. Uh, I guess I could buy this for two mana. Like we're at, I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth trying to fight like level up again i guess it is let's just like f clean up something some stuff on the floor you know like i'm trying to always punch upwards and that's a good thing to do um that is definitely you know a goal but i also think that there's something to be said about just like just fight some stuff on the field and uh we'll get to it later and i'm gonna go ahead and convert that scroll again Okay, why don't we try and fight this goblin? I I still I think that piss orf is still the best spell we have, like bang for our buck. So then we'll reveal these two. Oh, I was hoping I could like get over here so I could push him down. Because this does nothing to him now, right? May as well not even try. Why don't we just, like, use a normal fireball spell? And now we can kill him. And that's some pretty good XP we just got there. Nice. Um, Alright, let's just try and kill some of these lads. And uh, grind up a little bit of extra XP. There's some extra max mana. Now, the thing is, like, I was thinking, oh, it would, you know, we could try and kill this level 9 over here. 4 and 3. I actually, these four, this 4 and 3 is enough to level us up. In fact, we should, uh, we should start fighting the boss now. Um... Because we're gonna we're gonna use this last level up to help us fight the boss. So let's go ahead and shove them What is this again? Oh I guess the hotkey 2 is also gonna work. Oh and um, We can just punch him once Twice Oh, I didn't get biceps biceps was over here um, and then we'll kill the zombie for the level up We'll go ahead and reveal the biceps uh, in, a, in a second Let's go ahead and punch them And punch them again I guess they're they're recovering more from this. I hate that he has retaliate retaliate is such a silly mechanic it's just it, I don't I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and convert this, um, so we can pick up uh, biceps. I think that biceps is honestly our best bang. Strikes erode three percent resistance. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Except he doesn't have any resistance, so that's kind of worthless to us. But it's still thirty percent damage bonus. For less than half half the cost. Yeah, biceps is like way better. Um. Oh wait, no, it is exactly half the cost. Sorry, no, pissorf is still better. Cause this does sixty percent base damage. Um. 
I guess it's the same, isn't it? It is kind of the same, except we get more dungeon, right? So well, let's punch him once and then do piss orf. Uh, also, we can do something over here. All glyph ability costs are either increased by, or decreased. <laughs> we could do this and make fire worth worthwhile. Because it would decrease it to five. Uh, um, lower the magic resistance of your foes. By this is like the worst, actual worst thing ever. Because he's got retali retaliate fireball. So even though we would be doing more damage to him, um, we would be taking more damage. This, this we've got these these are just awful gods because th this fire isn't even worth it decrease attack bonus by 50 percent for one level of fire do you know what that means it means we get four more damage on our fire stacks four more damage so like i guess if you can cast a bazillion flames or fire or you know Burned arrays per turn that there's something there maybe but like it's just it doesn't seem worth it to me also this guy's got ridiculous recovery like he just seems to be recovering all of his health so i don't actually know if i'm making any headway here I, 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 every time I look at this god, I just get angry. <laughs> I for real just get annoyed because I'm like, you are so worthless. This is the, this is absolutely worthless. Um, if I do this, do we die? This is, I, you know what? Um, that's gotta be the only spell that we can do for free without taking damage, which is interesting. Let's um, convert I'm a wall. We don't need that anymore. And I don't think we need Pissorf anymore because I don't think I can use it on him anymore. And then let's go and buy... Oh, we, we don't have enough money for that tower shield. Very good. I think that I think we're done. I mean, I, I really don't think we can kill this boss. <laughs> I, I've done like zero damage to him. And I'm just thinking like if it was, you know, if it wasn't for the retaliation, I could probably get away with um using fireball i'm like yeah sure go ahead give me the flames that would be fine gift any glyph conversion with 50 percent mana restoration i should probably have bought this huh it's actually one of the few things that would have helped me because i would have gotten mana um but like the fact that he has uh retaliation fireball means that I have to use health potions in addition to using mana potions, and I don't have enough. And it's not worth it. I don't know why I'm even considering it, to be honest. I wonder, honestly, if it wouldn't be worth converting our mana potions. So this does um, almost 90 damage. Sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking that that's not true at all. Um, I, right now I'm doing 25, almost 35 damage. And this would do slight, uh, the same, a little slightly more damage. Burned arrays would do slightly more damage than just smacking him. Of course, we have biceps and now biceps is doing way more. 
so biceps is doing biceps is better than burn to raise confirmed of course then again burn to raise also gains the benefit like if we increase it in in strength and also did this mystic balance we'd be able to cast it more times I don't know. I don't know if just doing biceps would be better or um, like taking the time and effort to try and do burn to raise. Because the thing is, is that burn to raise also adds burning stacks on them, right? So there is that as well. It would probably do more damage over time. We don't have enough to do both flames and mystic balance, but if I do flames now and cast it a couple of times, then I would have enough for mix mystic balance in a couple of turns. Let's do it. It's so stupid, but let's do it. I think I just wasted one of my potions. Okay, well, let's, let's just start hitting him with that fireball. And now we have enough for Mystic Balance, so let's go ahead and do that. So now, um, Burn to Raise is 5. I think we are actually going to get away with this. Yeah, we actually did get away with it. Oh my god. <laughs> What a nightmare. Oh, man. Um, so here's the thing. I'm thinking let's go and do this five tokens business anyway. Because that means we unlock the god. And even though I, I did not like what they did for me in this session i i would still like to unlock them as a ch as an option right i should be using fireball i might actually not be able to do this no i, I should i should be okay because what I should really be doing is burn to raise instead. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. And we kill this last one over here. Grab that. Come over here. Go down. There you go. Yep, righteous. Get out of here. Go away. Hello. Yes, goodbye. Done. Um, Just wondering. I, I know like I'm really pushing my luck here, but I was thinking, like, could I maybe kill everything on the floor? But I don't think so. Um, I don't know. I, I guess like if I tr recovered some more mana, maybe I can kill this guy with fire. Yeah, we can. You get an extra bonus if you, um, kill everyone. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Let me see if I bought this here mana potion, could I do it? Also, we can cash in something over here, right? Actually, no. Wow. <laughs> what about over here? Uh, those who know their place will ultimately find themselves. This is worthless to us because it decreases our level by one, which actually makes our burned arrays do less damage. We could do a consecrated strike. Why not? Let's do a consecrated strike. Th that doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> uh, all right. Right, and he doesn't like it when I drink potions. I hate this god.
I should have got this protection as well. It restores 35% mana. Isn't that like... No, yeah, that is less. <laughs> that is less. On top of everything, to add, just to add insult to injury, he doesn't even restore as much mana or health as a potion. I know it's restoring both at once. You know, I understand that. We're not going to be able to kill this guy. That is unless... I convert some of my stuff into another mana potion. Uh oh, he went ahead and deleted all of my stuff. What a jerk. I hate you, glowing guardian. Goodbye. You cost me you cost me my my extra bonus. My badge. Alright. Well that was a long, long uh dungeon. My goodness, did not expect it to take that long. Uh, well, we did it with the monk. I don't know if I'll be doing the monk again for a while. Most gold spent 35. Puzzles unlocked the glowing guardian. Find the halflings. You've made contact with the halflings, invited them into your kingdom against the recommendations of, well, pretty much everyone. But if you help them settle in, they'll sure surely offer their advent uh, adventuring talents in return just expect them to be as sour as possible about it so glad new trophy 300 gold how much uh, for halflings 500 that's not enough i mean that's too much i i don't have enough to do that well anyway uh if you've enjoyed this extra long dungeon then definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy